talking about the sci-fi b-movie it came from the desert this one's actually a, a kind of a throwback to the old 50s style uh, monster movies like them uh, but it's actually kind of uh, somewhat based on a 1980s video game and it's a movie about giant killer ants now the director here is named marco something or other a name that i'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce it, it'll just sound like blah 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 anyway, so you get the idea uh, let's just look at IMDB, I'm sure it'll be fine anyway, so this focuses on uh, really two friends and uh, one of the guys is kind of a bit nerdy he, he's kind of a little bit shy the other one's a bit more kind of like boorish and really kind of a, a bit more of a dude bro type guy but they are friends and uh, they one of them, the kind of the dude bro guy is kind of this um, racing champion whilst the other guy is kind of more of the mechanic, more of the behind scenes type guy and they go to this kind of party in the desert to celebrate like a race win and um, while they're there they decide to do a bit of kind of investigating around the area and find out there's actually been some sort of facility there where it appears to have been that there have been some strange experiments in uh, fusing kind of ants with alien DNA causing them to become massive and particularly aggressive and obviously these now giant ants decide they're going to try and kill uh, these two guys, they're kind of like their, their female friend and everyone else at the party and it's up to our unlikely hero to try and stop them. So let's discuss It Came From The Desert. This movie is knowingly schlocky and it works in its favour I would say. Um, a couple of things I really liked here, this movie is somewhat meta, there is a lot of references to popular culture and movies and I quite like that because it, it kind of is what a lot of people are like and you know, they're kind of referencing things in films and kind of these guys are obviously a little bit kind of geeky, there's a kind of like a series of films within the movie that they're big fans of, they kind of keep referencing like a kind of 80s cheesy movie. But they will re reference kind of real life things like Lord of the Rings, Avengers, etc. I thought that was really kind of fun and it was, it was kind of like, uh, you know, a very kind of low budget uh, Ready Player One, you might say, with the, the amount of references this has got. Anyway, that was quite good. I kind of quite like that. So it's quite a fun meta script. And I actually have to say, and I, I, don't, I don't know if this was really that intentional, but I really liked the relationship between these two guys because... They do seem just like friends, but they're very different. And I was kind of expecting um, the kind of more the more douchey guy to be a real end up being a real asshole and try and steal the girl, etc., and get his comeuppance. But they're just friends. But they're just very different. And I thought that was good because it's kind of you don't see that as much. And it's nice to see like just two guy friends who have some stuff in common but are quite different, but just get along and kind of like, you know, look out for each other, but kind of annoy each other at the same time. I actually quite liked that, that it was a really refreshing you know, character dynamic, and I don't know if that was that intentional, uh, but it just, that's how it turned out, and I really, really liked that. And their kind of relationship with this kind of this female character as well, again, I thought it was very, very good. Um, the effects themselves, they're, achieve, they're on the cheaper side, let's not kid ourselves, but I think they did a, de a decent enough job. There are some shots here, particularly in the exteriors, where I feel the ants look pretty good, uh, but they do look kind of CGI, uh, you know, obviously when you kind of see them up close and stuff. Um, but they, it kind of reminds me of Tremors as well, because obviously this is all kind of out in the desert, uh, so it definitely has that kind of Tremors vibe to it, but obviously it's really kind of like servicing those kind of films of the 50s. Uh, what doesn't work, you know, it's somewhat of a generic plot ultimately and it's not really going to have any surprises, but I don't think it's ever meant to. And there are some kind of, maybe not the best line delivery, I mean it's kind of a little bit of a schlocky film, but there are some kind of like cheesy kind of like uh, sort of character dialogues here and there. And some of, the, some of the characters just seem a little bit too sort of cartoony for their own good, but we're talking more of the kind of the, the sort of the minor characters here. Uh, overall, do you know what? I've got to say, 
I actually had a lot of fun with this movie. I, I don't really, I mean, yeah, you could pick it apart for saying it's kind of very cheap and everything, and the effects are kind of bad, but I don't know. It is what it is. It, there's obviously a low budget film. There's only so much they can do, so I'm really not going to critique it too much for that. I actually found this quite a fun throwback movie to, you know, obviously the movies of the 50s, but also just the kind of like classic monster movies that we've seen. And I absolutely adored the kind of the kind of the um, the bromance, if you like, between these two guys. Just like they, they seem like kind of quite fun characters, and you know, they have some great hero moments towards the end of the movie. I like this movie unashamedly, although I feel like this will kind of get knocked down quite a lot in IMDb. So it's just some kind of crappy B movie, but I enjoyed the hell out of this one. So I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.